It was a natural fit. Miles of blank hospital walls and a patient or two in need of some brightening up and dozens of local artists looking for some high visibility space. The end result was a happy partnership between the art community and the Children's Hospital at Randwick. Rebecca Sullivan reports. For the past 12 months, the Sydney Children's Hospital at Randwick has been a second home for six-year-old Letitia Velez and her mother Debbie. We've probably been um, coming for almost a year um, and yeah, probably been staying here most of that year while she was first diagnosed. Hey Tish, how are you? Good. Are you going to hop up on the bed for me? Letitia Velez has leukaemia, but is now in the very early stages of recovery. You been good? We haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, I think so. A couple of months, huh? <laughs> good all your hair, frame back. Monthly visits to the hospital for blood tests and checkups are not something Letitia looks forward to. But there is one thing that makes this dose of medicine easier to take. Throughout the hospital, these corridors have been transformed into galleries, showcasing works from local artists. Every level of the hospital is in itself a commercial art space where we host over 45 exhibitions a year. Um, and the art program has really flourished in the last three or four years. Um, and now we really specialise in hosting exhibitions by mostly new and exciting artists who produce major solo shows. Mommy, I like that picture. Yeah, why do you like it? Because it's pretty. Yeah, I think it's pretty too. People thought art on the walls was a good idea in a children's hospital to reduce the sense that it was a very institutional space. And the such positive response from the patients, the parents and staff meant that art has become a, a much loved component of the hospital here. It's become a much loved space for the artists too. It is exciting for me because I've never exhibited before and I didn't really know how to do it. So I was put in touch to, uh, with Roxanne from the Sydney Children's Hospital um, and she explained to me how to do it and she leads you through that process. So it made it very easy for somebody like me who doesn't know how to exhibit or been through that process before. It's been a huge help for us because um, at times she's had um, pneumonia several times and you know, the best thing um, is to get her up and moving and when she's just you know, bedridden um, the pneumonia can set in more so we go for walks around the ward and it's a great opportunity to have a look at the artwork and we often you know, comment um, together and have a little laugh and then we'll go and she'll try to draw some artwork herself so it's quite, quite good for us. actually help the healing process. A lot of research has been done on how heart helps lift the spirits and also takes away the focus from physical and mental trauma that patients often go through. If the art is helping the patients, it's also providing huge benefits for the local art community. And the colours and the light, they're amazing, really, yeah, aren't they? Emerging artists who often find it really tough to find a space where they can show their new work, in Sydney particularly, get a large space where there are lots of people to see their new solo shows. Because I you know, do photography as a hobby, I don't really get much feedback other than from my friends and so on. So to see total strangers you know, walk up to the work and, and, and like it is, is quite satisfying. But it, it kind of given me the confidence to definitely do it again here and perhaps at a, another gallery somewhere else. Letitia is a budding artist herself. She created a fundraising calendar for the hospital which has so far raised over $20,000. Did you do lots of drawings? Yes. What, what did you draw? Well, I drawed an elephant. I drawed an elephant. What about your tiger? I drew the tiger for my brother too.
we get a feeling that we're doing a pretty good job when we take down an exhibition and we get a raft of complaints from staff saying, where did the art go? Put it back up on the wall. What's coming on next? Well, I think if you go through hospital corridors, they're normally pretty bland, you know, and quite sterile looking. But to have, you know, the art up, it breaks up the space and it, I understand it, especially for the children, it, it gives them an opportunity to kind of forget where they are for a few minutes. Thanks Rebecca and that's the show for this week. Bye bye.